I bet you didn't know that just by opening a Visual Studio project, you could be getting ratted, token locked, and basically any code can run on your PC without your knowledge. You just got ratted by Daddy Yuri Magma the Ops. In this video, I'll be explaining how this exploit works and how you can protect yourself against it. By the way, this video is for educational purposes only. Okay, so if you didn't know, Visual Studio, it's basically where you write code and it compiles it for you into an EXE. But now, it could be getting you hacked if you're not careful. If you've ever been looking at projects on GitHub, you'll notice that most repositories in C++ and C Sharp are given as a Visual Studio project. And everyone likes this and thinks it's safe just because they can see the source code. Because on GitHub, you can literally go into the source files and look at the entire code, you know, make sure there's nothing sketchy going on. So until recently, I had full trust in Visual Studio project files. So how does this attack work? All Visual Studio projects generate a .suo file, which holds project preferences, and it's loaded whenever you open the Visual Studio project. So before you debug your program, before you write any code, just as you open the project, it gets loaded immediately. And a couple months ago, two guys figured out how to inject code into the SUO file. So now I'm gonna walk you through the vulnerability and show you how to protect yourself. And just a disclaimer, I'm testing this on my own system so you can better understand this vulnerability and defend yourself against it. Do not do anything shown in this video on someone else without their permission. So I got the exploit file right here and I have a test Visual Studio project that we're gonna test this out on. So if we go into the folder, open it up. So this is the IDE, this is Visual Studio right here. This is our program, hello world. And some people still call me a skid, like look at this. So anyway, when we close out of it, in the .vs folder, test and then v17 we're gonna see the dot suo file right here okay so let's make the infected suo file so if we run the exploit file suo exploit test usage so the input this is our input right here output and then the command whenever a new exploit comes out and everyone's testing it out they usually just test it out with the calc command that's what we're gonna do and then i'm also gonna do a remote shell example and then our input so that's this right here so our output we'll just call it i don't know dot suo and for the command yeah we'll just do calc for now perfect so this is our infected file right now and we just drag it into the folder replace the file and boom here it is so now when we open the visual studio project calculator pops up oof so that's that's pretty wild we didn't have to do anything there was no windows defender no nothing wait and by the way yeah real-time protection is on everything is on like it's it's not detecting anything yeah so if we can open calculator we can do many other things so something i also noticed is that when you close out of it right after it executed when you run it again it's not actually gonna open calculator in our case it doesn't run the command again it only runs once and it overwrites your suo file it's basically corrupted at this point so i just delete it and then generate a new one with visual studio and you just do that by opening your project closing out of it it should generate another one Okay, so now time for a remote shell. Basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in a code that gives me access to the command prompt of whoever opens the project in this case. So we're going to go back up and instead of the calc command, we're going to be doing this. Drag it over, replace. And now we're going to start a reverse shell listener on port 4444. So we're going to go back to the project, run it and we can run any command from here. Once you have a shell, it's basically like GG's for the other person. So for anyone who's confused what this is in the first place, I'm accessing my own command prompt, so it doesn't look as impressive. But if I used my local IP and like another computer on my network ran this, I would get access to that computer's shell. If you want to learn more about reverse shells, I'll throw my video about it in the cards. It seems to help a lot of people. So if you're confused about what the hell this means, then that'll clear things up. This type of attack, hiding code in Visual Studio projects using different methods, was first seen a few years ago in 2020. One hacker created 10 fake Twitter accounts and pretended to be a security researcher on each one, and then retweeted new discoveries and updates in the cyber niche, which got them a small following. Then the hacker would reach out to legit security researchers and offer to collaborate on vulnerability research together, then send the researcher a Visual Studio project which contained malicious code and gave the hacker full access to the researcher's system. To protect yourself against this, just look out for those SUO files when downloading a Visual Studio project. To check for them, you can go into the .vs folder, the next folder, and then v17, and from there you can delete the SUO file. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Like, sub, join my Discord server, and I'll see you next time. And make sure to check out my other vids.